everybody, my name is Jess, and the guys from Cinema Sins and I are bringing you an entire new series called Brand Sins. A show where we point out the sins in everyday life. Today's sinful topic... I graduated from college and all I got was this. Lousy, reoccurring student loan payment. The current student loan debt in the US is one trillion dollars. One trillion. That's way more money than I'll ever have. Over 11% of that trillion dollars is 90 days delinquent or more. According to the Institute for College Access and Success, 7 out of 10 students graduate with student loans. The average amount of those student loans is $30,000. It's like graduating with a brand new car that you can't have, or drive, or touch or look at, but you have to pay for it. Having student loans used to indicate that you had a college education, most likely a job, and hopefully the ability to buy a house. Now it means you live in your mom's basement. If you can't live in your mom's basement, hopefully you do pay your student loans on time so it doesn't affect your credit score, so you can at least rent an apartment. I heard bridges are nice to sleep under. Between 2004 and 2009, only 37% of borrowers were able to make their payments on time. And I know from college that 37% isn't very much. Conventional underwriting standards don't apply to student loans. Generally, how much money you make equates to how much money you can borrow. But in this case, they just give 18-year-old kids with no job, no hopes, and no idea what they're going to do with their life $30,000 and say, hey, just hope you pay that back someday with your philosophy degree. Premature loan repayment. I bet you thought you had some time to pay that back, didn't ya? Gotcha. Even if you do graduate, find a job, and pay back that hefty student loan payment every month, chances are you're not going to be able to invest in your future. So you're just gonna work until you die. According to 1974 economist Jacob Mincer, having a college degree would increase your earning potential by 6 to 10 percent. He may have left out the part that not all degrees are created equal. Ask anyone with a liberal arts degree, like yours truly, how their job in the hospitality industry is going. For every student loan borrower that defaults, two more become delinquent. You can't claim bankruptcy on student loans. Sure, you can rack up your credit cards with shoes and games or whatever else you can think of and just write it off to bankruptcy, but if you want an education, Sorry, that's not nearly frivolous enough. This gives the government the right to garnish your wages, seize your tax refunds, and even take your parents' social security benefits if they co-sign on your loan. The fact that higher education costs money in the first place. I did this for 12 years for free, and now I have to pay for it. Constant calls and emails just to remind you, hey, you owe us a lot of money. The interest rates on student loans prove it's a for-profit business. There is terrible communication between lenders and students. When I graduated, not only did I have no idea how much money I owed or who I owed it to, I didn't even know where to start. But it's okay that it's confusing. It's not like there's anything difficult about being a young adult that just graduated college and has no idea what they're going to do with their life. There are minimal forbearance or deferment options. You're welcome. Loans are changing hands constantly, and you never really know who you owe money to. It's like a super fun game where you always lose. Need to talk to somebody? Try calling them. It's like calling Google or Facebook. It's impossible. Student loan companies make college textbook companies look like a bunch of nuns, or kittens, or unicorns, or kittens riding unicorns. I don't know, but it makes them look like a bunch of pussies. Good news, you're legally old enough to drink now. Oh yeah, and here's a bill for $30,000. Wage garnishment for those who can't pay their loans, because since you make such little money, we're gonna take the rest of it so you can't buy diapers for your baby, because f you, actual American. If you're lucky, you'll pay them before you die. You can't spell diploma without I-O-A ton of money or spell check 
In today's economy, it's cheaper to buy a food truck and start your own business than it is to go to college. I should have bought a food truck. To sum this all up, if I could do it all over again, I'd gladly give back my student loans and keep my virginity. We hope you liked the show. That's all the student loan sins we have for today, but I know there's more. So now it's your turn to send student loans in the comments below. Thank you.